Hey everybody, it's Dr. Levitt here. No doubt you have heard the term too much of a good thing, right? This is a term that applies in so many different areas of life, but personal hygiene and cleanliness is not usually one of them. And yet, a new study that was just published in the pediatric edition of the Journal of the American Medical Association suggests that it might be true there as well. Now, how can this possibly be? What I'm referring to is the hygiene hypothesis. Now, this is a theory that suggests that our current state of antibacterial everything and antiseptic wipes and minimal exposures and air filters and all this sort of stuff that keeps our air and our surfaces clean and germ-free might actually be causing problems in our immune system. So this study was conducted in Sweden, and they took Swedish children that had early life exposures to dogs and other farm animals as well, and they demonstrated quite conclusively that kids with early life exposures to dirt and farm life and dogs and dander and animals have decreased risks of developing asthma later in their childhood and later on into adulthood. And this is one of a string of studies that have demonstrated that the hygiene hypoth hypothesis is probably true, that our early life exposure, our immune system seems to want, seems to thrive when it is exposed. And we are now living in a world where antibacterials and antiseptic soaps and wipes and surface cleaners and, and are ubiquitous. And the suggestion here is that all of these products are decreasing the exercise that our immune system gets, and there can be consequences to that downstream. So it's really important to consider the natural world and exposure to nature, to dirt, to plants, to animals, and even to the, to the non-pathogenic germs that exist in the world around us. And we don't need to depend on antibacterial hand sanitizers and antibacterial wipes at every turn. Now, sterility certainly has its place, right? In, in, in surgical rooms and obviously in certain conditions, sterility and antibacterial properties are really important. But in normal everyday life, in otherwise healthy individuals, I would encourage you to get rid of the antibacterial Bacterial soaps, get rid of the antibacterial hand sanitizers, and live closer to the earth in that sort of way. You will, you will, your immune system will thank you for that. So I hope that helps you. Here's to the hygiene hypothesis. So take good care.